Welcome back, adventurers. It is Bravity with Bravity Gaming. We are continuing with It'll Do 2, Dungeon Crawler Extraordinaire. Let's fucking go. Get back, Mr. Gumdrop fuck. Oh, okay, okay. You can tell that they're gonna move because, like, that one's a little shaky, so it's gonna. Yeah. I know your secret, you fuck. You wear underwear. It's right here. I bet you're really embarrassed now. Ha! Got him. Who hurt you, friend? I will avenge you. Who hurt you? Can gumdrops melt? I mean, I guess it would make sense if they did. Pretending that you're minding your business, you motherfucker. And then you kill me, that's totally fair. Ooh, dungeon. Let's go. Oh, are you guys having a seance? My bad. I'll leave you alone. Get it? Because, like, the, the peppermints look like an S shape. Ooh! Secret dungeon trying to hide. And for good reason. Great! I have no clue where we are. Here's another dungeon, though. That, that's pretty cool. Cool, so I got a really cryptic message that makes no fucking sense. Great! Boom! I know how to count. Fuck you, game, for implying otherwise. Oh. Oh. Holy shit! Can I get a replay on that? Psst. You there. Ever heard about transport caves? Yeah. Try the cave near the changing tent. Bedazzlement guaranteed. <laughs> You're creepy. I'm leaving. Also, where the fuck is the changing tent? I know that the eyeball guy last time asked where it was, but I don't know where it is. Is that gonna be on the map? I really wanna know. I know I'm supposed to be dungeon crawling right now, but I really need to know. I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know about these strangers like me. What is this? Oh, it's another dungeon. Great. Yeah, that's right, you you hide your you cowardly fucks. Excuse me, sir, do you know? Well that's cute, it's a little candy cane lane. I love it. Oh, I see. Candy Cane Lane to the Sand Castle? This level makes no fucking sense. There's no, like, coherent idea that they're going for here. Oh boy, I feel the smell of treasure chests full of items relevant to our quest. Ugh, at this rate it'll take three more adventures to get this sand out of my fur. <laughs> Don't be silly! Just wash out some health potion. I would if we had anyone, but somebody... Goffed it all the mom. Goffed it all the moment we set out for this adventure. That was you. I know. <laughs> so we set out for an adventure, and uh, our foxy friend decides let's drink all of the health potion. What a great idea. I was about to make a comment about how you can be smooth and slick and just avoid all of the possible dangers, but clearly that's not a good solution for me. Alright, let's just go. Smooth and easy. Smooth and easy. Fuck! I'm gonna try and avoid that. Cause I'm tired of falling on my face in the T-pose. Shit, son of a fucking whore mouth basilisk. You know, I could be patient and not take as much damage. But where's the fun in that? Great! I'm dying. Cool. What we got? A force wand. Force shoots magical projectiles that push and damage items. Awesome. 
Boom! Oh, thank god. Okay, I don't know how I did it that one time, but I did it. Right, now I can do this puzzle. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. No, that's not right. That's not right. Okay. Alright, let's let let's let's think let's think. Let's use our our brains to figure this out. Okay, so clearly we're supposed to push that to the right. Alright, this might be the inefficient way, but it's a, technically a way. There we go. Boom! Technically away. The jet. Ooh, nice to know. Oh fuck. Oh my gosh, it's Revenge of the Angry Birds. Ah, you're finally here. Who is this guy? I am Leballo, and I am here to avenge my cousin. Okay, so technically this is my day job. The ro giant robot's part of the office dress code. But still, I will have my revenge! <laughs> uh-huh. Ill, do you know what he's talking about? I don't remember smacking any red crystals. His cousin must have been really forgettable. No, Zoom! Nakar Laxon! It takes weeks to glue him back together! Gross! Yes! Now have at you! Cool. This fight is so much easier just because I have a I have a wand. Fuck. I jinxed myself. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. Okay. How about you? You don't have a wand like I do. Is this how Star from Star vs. the Force of Evil feels like? She's just incredibly overpowered. Because if not, I think I'd be a little concerned. Boom! Fuck you, you angry looking angry birds motherfucker. Red jewel ain't got nut shit on me. Yeah, Naruto jumping out of the fucking way. That's what I fucking thought. Cool, where are we headed to next? Great. Alright, let's zoom in. Did I miss any? I don't think I did. Still don't know where the pop tent is, but I know. But I think that's okay. Be gone with ye! Damn. Hello, I have come in to invade your house. Oh, you're so cute. Hunk magazine? Oh, honey. You remind me of an adventurer who threatened hints out of me a long time ago. Next time I see her, I'm gonna beat her up. Oh, honey. I'll leave the weights. You can, you can still be a hunk. That's alright. I was just using that furniture to practice breaking things anyway. You know you're super strong when you have a wooden stick and you can destroy furniture. Manufactured wood that was built to, you know, last. Huh, weird. Alright, to the warp garden. Don't stab me now. I said don't stab me cause I'm having a good time. Having a good time. See, it's great. It just takes you right back to where you need to be. See? See? I'm right next to where I need to be. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling a little saucy, leave a comment. See you then. Bravety out.